वेलकम टू मॉड्यूल थ्री ऑफ द साउंड ऑफ म्यूजिक इन दिस लेसन द शहनाई ऑफ बिस्मिल्ला खान इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट द इंस्ट्रूमेंट शहनाई इट इज़ अ वेरी ऑस्पिशियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज इन वेडिंग्स एंड रिलीजियस फंक्शंस इन द फर्स्ट पेज यू हैव सर्टन म्यूजिशियंस विद देयर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आइडेंटिफाई देम एज एन एक्टिविटी all the pages make a pause read and then listen okay so there was a musical instrument called panchi it had uh, the shape of an instrument which the snake charmers used to have you might have you can see it later so that musical instrument was banned by emperor aurangzeb because it made an unpleasant sound and whichever reeded instruments made that sound it was compared to panchi so someone had to revive make it fresh that instrument so a barber from a family of uh, musicians and also who visited the palace he made a change in that instrument he made it a little longer and the end he made it a little broader and when he played that instrument it produced a very soft melodious sound and that is how the shehnai got its name as it was played before the emperor shah as it is as they are called and it was played by a nai that is a barber it was named as shehnai uh, this is the panchi and later it was revived to a shehnai which you can see in the picture now in the sound of the shehnai it was considered very auspicious it is still played in temples and it cannot be avoided in uh, some north indian weddings so in the past the shehnai was a part of the uh, nawabs of the traditional group of nine musical instruments ensemble means group of nine instruments found in the royal courts Till recently, the um, shenai was played in temples and weddings, but the credit of bringing the instrument uh, to the stage it goes to the Bismillah Khan. He was the person who brought the shenai to the stage. You can see it is a wedding ceremony where the shenai players are playing the instruments, and uh, very auspicious uh, instrument it is. Uh, in the third paragraph, the young five-year-old Bismillah Khan is being described how he would go to the nearby Bihari Ji temple and he would sing the Bhojpuri uh, Chaita. So why does he sing that song? The just to receive the one point two five kg weighing ladoo, which was given as a prize by the local maharaja. So that happened eighty years ago, and now uh, that little young boy of five years, he had travelled. Uh, long enough to earn the highest civilian award he had earned the highest civilian award of india in india what is that the bharat ratna so that five year old who sang for receiving a ladoo he received the highest civilian no, uh, award in india that is the bharat ratna so here you can see the picture of the bihari ji temple where he used to go and sing the chaita for receiving ladoo lakhan was born uh, on 21st march 1916 and he was born in a well known family of musicians from bihar his grandfather his father or and all other paternal ancestors they were also great shehnai players so no wonder that he also became a great shehnai player the young boy he very early in his life he took to music so when he was just 3 years old his mother used to take him to the maternal uncle's house and there he would see a maternal uncle ali bucks playing the shehnai he would watch him for a long time and uh, ali bucks that is his maternal uncle was employed in the balaji temple in the balaji sorry vishnu temple at banaras and uh, he would practice for years to come the temple of balaji mangla maya temple and the banks of the ganga these became the in apprentices favorite haunts where he could sit and uh, practice in solitude in loneliness okay so these were the haunts means he used to sit there and practice the shehnai for a long time frequently visiting places are called haunts okay the flowing ganga was an inspiration to him the fourth this paragraph describes his journey as a shehnai player at the age of 14 he was taken by his uncle to allahabad music conference there 
uh, Ustad Fayaz Khan, he heard his Shehnai uh, play, uh, playing and he patted him on his back and told him to work hard and uh, he said that you would be in great heights. So the opening of All India Radio in Lucknow, that was a very major break for Ustad Bismillah Khan and he became an often heard Shehnai player on radio. So he got a lot of chances in All India Radio and uh, he became very famous as a Shehnai player. People could hear him on radio. And when India got independence on 15th August 1947, he became the first Indian to greet the nation with his Shehnai. And uh, there was a speech by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Trust with the Destiny. Just before that, he played his Shehnai and uh, he became the first Indian to do so. Ustad Bismillah Khan performed not only in India but also abroad. First, he went to Afghanistan where the king uh, Zahar Shah, he gave him priceless Persian carpets and also other souvenirs. And then uh, he, Vijay Bhatt, he was also impressed by the music Shehnai played by Bismillah Khan and he named a film after the instrument and the name of the film was Gunj Uti Shehnai. So Bismillah Khan got chances in many films but he worked only in two films. One is Gunj Uti Shehnai and the other one is Sanadi Appannak, a Kannada film. He did not like the artificiality of the film world and he just quit from the film world. A question may be asked, why did not Bismillah Khan uh, do work in uh, films? Okay, so you should answer this paragraph tells us about the awards and recognitions that uh, came to Ustad Bismillah Khan. It came thick and fast. That means many uh, recognitions came in favor of him and that also very quickly. So he became the first Indian to be invited uh, to the prestigious Lincoln Center Hall in the United States of America. He also took part in the World Exposition in Montreal, in the Cannes Art Festival and in the Osaka Trade Fair also. So he, there was a, an auditorium in his name, Tahar Musiki Ustad Bismillah Khan. He also got national awards like Patma Shri, Patma Bhushan and Patma Vibhushan and uh, he got the highest civilian award Bharat Ratna and when he got that award he kept it close to his chest and he told uh, that please teach your children music and even the people from the west are coming to India to learn music that is the richest tradition that you can teach your children. Then in spite of being travelled all over the world he was uh, very much fond of the river Ganga and also the city of Damna and uh, he went to US so one of the student asked him to uh, head a Shenai school in USA and uh, the student said that he would create the city of Benares but he said that you cannot bring the river Ganga here it is not possible so no need he actually missed those uh, places very much Ustad Bismillah Khan's life is a perfect uh, example of the rich cultural heritage of India uh, because he uh, being a devout Muslim he is very happy to play the Shehnai at the Kashi Vishwanatha temple so that shows that he is a very uh, great Indian to his heart. He passed away on 21st August 2006 at the age of 90. Thank you.